Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to solve question number 11.6 from alcohols, phenols and ether. So the question reads, what is meant by hydroboration oxidation reaction and illustrated with an example. We will learn about this hydroboration oxidation, what is the definition of it later. But first let's try and solve the example here. So here, the let's try and take an example, which is a textbook problem example itself. Let's take propene. Alright, so I've taken propene. And since the name clearly says hydroboration oxidation, my reagent here is going to be B2H6. Okay, now to this B2H6, I need only, I'm going to separate this particular molecule. I'm going to write it in such a way that I'm going to put this. Alright, now when I try to, um, what do you say, when I, BH2. Right now, when I try to add up the molecules, it's going to come the same. Okay, so here I have BH2, and this is taken twice. All right, so that's basically B2H6. Now, out of this, uh, here we are going to have molecule breaking like this hydrogen goes to that carbon that contains least number of hydrogen atoms. And BH2 will go to the carbon that contains most number of hydrogen atoms. Now, in this case, the double bond is going to break. So, I'll get CH, CH2. And I'll change the hydrogen where the new one has come. And I'll put a BH2 here. Now, remember, I can repeat the same process again by taking propane once again because I have two hydrogens on boron which can be replaced by same method. So I'll do the same thing once again. I will add propene again and out of this BH2, one hydrogen from here can go to the CH, BH can go to the CH2. So in this case, I'm just going to write the first molecule which is already there to BH2. This will become only one BH and the remaining will go here. Alright. And then I'm going to repeat one more step because I have a hydrogen again bonded to boron. So this will become again another step. And I'm going to get this as my molecule where boron is now surrounded on all three sides with a propyl chain. Alright, now the last step is going to be reaction with H2O2 and OH-. Alright, now when that happens, all the three bonds will break and instead of these CH2s bonding to boron, you will get alcohol okay and this is going to be three because of three alcoholic groups uh, plus the remaining part is going to form the OH thrice okay so what I'm getting here my dominant product formation is going to be propanol now if I observe this Alright, if I observe this on an alkene, if I'm getting on a terminal carbon, a substituent, a functional group there, then it's going to follow anti of because I have a peroxide over here. And we've learned peroxide, in the presence of peroxide, it is going to have an anti Markovnikov's role or a Karash effect or a peroxide effect, which we have been learning from grade 11. Now, let's go to the definition of this one, what is meant by hydroboration oxidation throughout the entire thing you've seen that because of a diborane oxidation has taken place in the molecule here initially no oxygen in the product oxygen has been added so basically it's an oxidation reaction so you can write that oxidation reaction that takes place in the presence of diborane is called hydroboration oxidation all right is called hydroboration oxidation you can also add to this that it follows it follows anti markovnikov's 
and Tim Maconikov's rule. Alright, so it follows anti-Makonikov's rule.